Independence Day in Manila, Friday, June 12, starts out under a dark cloud. Rains threaten to spoil plans for the rallies. The day before, the government warned the rallies were in fact prohibited. Policemen tell reporters larger crowds will be handled differently. There are checkpoints at the entrance to UP Dileman. Some pedestrians are barred from going to the campus. Just before 9 a.m., the chief of the Quezon City Police says law enforcers will be forced to make arrests if the crowds do not disperse on their order. So, sir, kailangan nilang mag-disperse kapag sinabihan niyo para hindi sila arrestuhin. Kailangan lang muwi para Mas maganda po, ganun, para hindi na tayo aabot doon. By 9 a.m., progressive groups start to converge along the University Avenue of UP Dalaman. Sound systems are set up under a tense atmosphere. Music starts blaring. People, growing to hundreds, take their positions, guided by visual markers for physical distancing. And the protest starts. Are you scared? Like, of course I am. Of course I am. Wala namang naging matapang na, ano, na hindi natapang. Uh, dahil sa sandali na nagpapigil tayo, eh, para na rin natin inaamin yung, yung, para na rin natin isinusuko yung, alam mo, yung civil liberties natin. As minutes go by, everyone starts to relax. There are no policemen. The atmosphere becomes festive. After all, they're calling it the Grand Manyanita, a shade to Metro Manila Police Chief De Bold Sinas, whose birthday party defied a strict lockdown but was forgiven by no less than President Rodrigo Duterte. There are party hats, balloons, roses, Voltes 5 masks, all to make fun of Sinas' party. People give away free party food. Now in a playful mood, Protesters shake out the fear and show strong defiance. Defiance to controversial policies of the Duterte government, especially the anti-terror bill that will potentially crack down on dissent. The proposed law will broaden the definition of terror, subject suspects to longer surveillance, and authorize executive officials to detain suspects for as long as 24 days. Uh, kahit na tinakot tayo no, ng chief police officer no, na uh, hulihin daw yung mga uh, nag kasi daw uh, bawal daw ang mass gathering, pero nandito pa rin ang mga kabataan tumitindig upang ibasura ang anti-terrorism bill. The concerned lawyers for civil liberties deploy lawyers on the ground in case of arrests. The group is led by the same lawyers who opposed the Gloria Arroyo administration that led to landmark Supreme Court cases, carving out jurisprudence that further protected fundamental freedoms. We're very happy na maraming lawyers and law students ang sumama ngayon. Uh, of course, we need more. Uh, and I'm glad na maraming lawyers ang nagpakita sa buong bansa ng kanilang pagsuporta sa panawagan. The sight of everyone in masks is a constant reminder that there is still virus in our midst. But physical distancing does not keep protesters from feeding off each other's energy. And they realize that courage is a good kind of infectious. After three hours, the program wraps up in UP without an arrest. They successfully defy, at least for today. Come rain, come shine, Filipinos did not leave the UP Dileman campus where hundreds have assembled to celebrate the Philippine Independence Day. And there's one loud call to junk the anti-terror bill. Lawyers, law groups, prominent law schools have come out against this bill which they slam for being unconstitutional. There was a strong government warning that rallies are temporarily prohibited in quarantine, but Filipinos today showed the lengths they would go to to protect their freedoms. The question is, are the leaders listening? Lian Juan, Rappler, Manila.